Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. I'm going to explain to you about what the letter D means in graphology. These are the three formations that we are going to learn today and what it represents as a mindset will be seen over here. The letter D represents food, our mindset while eating food and how that affects physicality. The first letter D is showing an open mindedness and it shows a desire to eat various types of food. Also, it shows a desire that the person would not mind trying out new food. Now, what do you exactly need to look out for in this formation to know whether the person is open minded or would like to stick to what he likes? You see this gap over here on the top. This gap shows that the person is open minded or he wants to try out or doesn't mind having some new food to eat, a new taste, a new cuisine. But this formation represents a person who would like to stick to what he likes. He doesn't want to experiment and would avoid it. Let's say if your favorite meal of the day is Chinese noodles. And if you go to a restaurant and today you want to try out uh, a, a Chinese fried rice or you want to have uh, a paneer dish or a chicken dish, whatever you want to try out and if it's not what you used to, that will be represented by letter D with a loop on the top part. If you go to a restaurant and there are times when on the way you feel like you want to have something new, but as you reach the restaurant and you open up the menu card, you decide Let's go with what I'd had last time. You want to stick to what is good and you want to have that familiarity while eating food. You want to have that same taste again. So this is when the person has a letter D that has a retraced upper zone. When the person has this D formation, they're slightly uh, willing to try out something new and this makes the person very focused. We are not talking about this last formation because it's slightly different. I'll be getting to that in a minute. Now, when we're having such a formation, the open-mindedness actually affects the way the energy of the food represents itself in the body. An open-minded person or a person who wants to try out something new and he would like to eat various types of cuisine they actually become open-minded. They actually become less fussy. Whereas a person writing this letter formation tends to become very focused and very particular about what he wants. Now remember, there's no wrong formation of a letter D. This is not wrong or this is not right. There's nothing like that. It just depends on what you want out of your life. If you are a person working in a government job, or you're working as a in a very firm environment, let's say a laboratory or a scientific field or an engineering place where you have to follow the rules and regulations exactly the way they're supposed to. If you have to make a part of an engine, you have to you have to make a recipe for a certain dish and you have to stick to what has been told you, then this letter D formation is actually an advantage. If you're in a more creative field, like let's say you're a creative artist or you're a dancer, you're an actor, you're a teacher, you're an inventor, this formation could help you out more. Now, what is it about food and your career that can match? What we eat becomes a part of us, but how we eat makes us what we are. Let me give an example. For the next 20 to 25 days, if I eat my food with an open-minded thought process like this, then that thought process starts to affect me. The food, once it becomes a part of me, also has that energy carried forward. So if I want to be creative, if I want to make these videos a bit more uh, fun and easy to learn for you, then this deformation will represent that open-mindedness. But let's say if I want a newer mindset, if I want to be more focused, if I want to be very particular about what I'm doing, go along the same track as others, 
have a fixed mindset then this is the formation now remember by changing the handwriting you can change your life but you have to write quite a lot so unless you're a student who writes at least four to five pages a day changing your handwriting purposely won't have much of an effect so what you can do is that use the information of these videos in real life for example i want to be open minded and i want to be more uh, willing to try out new things and it's not only about food yes this letter d represents food but ultimately the food energy affects all part of our life let's say if i want to buy a new mobile for myself and if i want to experiment with a newer company you i want to try out a new brand a new model then that mindset of open mindedness comes from this formation the source of the open mindedness comes from here if i want to have a more fixed mindset and i want to buy the mobile phone which i have always been buying same brand trying to buy the same model i don't want to change too much i want to have the same sort of features then i will actually have this mindset that helps me makes a decision so while i'm eating food i can be open minded and have a desire to be open minded and that affects the food if i want to be more focused and clear about what i'm doing then i can be focused on the food and my choices of the food and that affects the way my body responds so try this information out and see how it affects your life if you want your relations to work in the long run or you want your career to last in a long way both these mindsets can help you in different formations and different situation so be flexible in your handwriting and let your handwriting tell you what's your mindset now let's go to the last letter d the difference between this d and this d is that here this one starts from the curve goes up into the upper zone and then comes down so the curve comes first and then the line in this formation however we have starting point from here the upper zone it goes into a line then there's an angle and then there's a curve now just observe here there's a curve two lines and a retrace here there's only a line an angle and a curve there's no angle here and there is an angle here now what does this angle mean this angle means that the person is thinking over what he wants to eat and while he's eating he's being quite analytical if you are a person who likes to give reviews for a restaurant or you like to judge how food is and you are very particular about taste you quite uh analytical about the salt about the sugar about the spice and you want it exactly the way you want it and you actually like the food based on how technically well made it's made then this is the formation that's going to come to you now people who have this formation in their handwriting tend to not like home food that much there's always some complaint in their mind whether they express it or not is another factor but there are sometimes these people become a bit annoying and they always want the salt to be perfectly correct in that food or they want the uh, what you could say the spice or the turmeric powder or the ingredients to be in the correct proportion they are very particular about the taste of the food so these two people are more happy with whatever food they get not too much of a complainer but this person is so it can be the fact that they can become angry while they're eating food because they did not get the correct taste or they did not get the correct uh, feeling of the food that they were eating so if you are having this formation of letter d it can lead to irritation while eating food while eating food if you are having irritation that irritation will become a part of your body very soon and we have seen or let's say observed from the handwriting and in real life that people who have this sort of letter d tend to wear out their teeth much faster 
they're angry or they're not happy with what they're eating. So their chewing mechanism and the coordination of the gums tends to go a little off. And this leads to teeth irritation, gum irritation, and yes, it could make things worse for the dental health. I'm not saying that all the people who write this D are irritated. It's just that those who are not happy with the food, it makes them un uh, makes them unhappy and it makes them angry. Remember the favorite food that you like and you just love the taste and next time you had it, you didn't get the taste too much. These two people in this scenario would not be too angry and they would not bother too much about it. They'd carry on. But this person, however, would get slightly uh, pissed off. So now let's go to another factor. If this D is open, that means unsatisfactory. If the D gets closed. Okay, sorry for that. Now, if the D gets closed, if the gap is not there, then that means that the person is a bit more satisfied. I want you to have a look at the letter formations in your handwriting and focus on the letter D. Observe your handwriting and observe your lifestyle. See if what I'm teaching is matching to what the knowledge is and matching to what your reality and your lifestyle is. Do give us your comments and your feedbacks and if you like this video, please click the like button and I'll be publishing the next letter, letter E. In letter E, we are going to come to know about the way a person handles culture and fine thought processes. So, see you in the next one. Thank you.